Uh, 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 the my gumbo shop, five dollars, five dollars a cup, right there. Forty third used to be neighborly cafe. Them brothers came up when they, when we had the flood and noise, and they got I can't even pronounce it. They played the lease, right across the street. We saved the old cornville when that cold once played. That's gonna be coming back. Seven eight club on Forty Seventh Street. <clears throat> uh, my piece that I don't tell people about the old Marshall Field Mansion on Six on 44th and, and Cottage Grove. I can name you 20 projects off the top of my head, right? I'm planting trees that I ain't gonna never sit up there, all right? In terms of my commitment to my community and what I come from, and the fact that we got to emancipate the masses of our people. Mm -hmm. Or we're gonna perish, right? And the plan is for us to perish. And, and, and that's clear. Anybody can see it now, I mean, we out here demonstrating the Metro Flyer. We out here, we get the call. Uh, Congressman Russ, we're gonna come down, you got his hat, top day seduce. Mm -hmm. All I'm, I'm saying Lester, Lester Jackson, uh, what's the brother that's hundred years old? You know where that is. Where that is? Lester Jackson, he from the Jackson, Jackson area on the west side. He, he on his camp. We marching around in front of Metro. Mm -hmm. Where Larry Huggins is the chairman on the board, on the board, mm -hmm. right? They cut a deal on a $137 million project where we got a $100,000 contract for flag carriers on the project, right? Then the word come out, somebody got a $350,000 grant to do the outreach two years ago so the community would be ready for this opportunity. Yes, sir. Are there any uh, efforts uh, designed to Andrew Turnbull Malone's uh, history? I'm not familiar with that person. You're not familiar with Andrew Turnbull Malone? No. Well, it was the Andy Gibbs. Okay. Andy Turnbull? I don't know everybody. Okay. Well, she's right here in Bronzeville. Uh, you heard of Madam C.J. Walker? Of course. Okay. Andy Turnbull Malone was the lady who made Madam Walker. Okay. Who she is. Mm -hmm. She's not there. still alive. No, no. Okay. There's a lot of misinformation about Madam Walker that's now being clarified by our own relatives. Right. It's in a book called Standing on Own Ground, mm -hmm. and it acknowledges that Andy Turnbull alone, uh, who, who ran and operated Coro College, what's it called? It was called Coro, P O R O. Okay. Coro College, right here off King Drive, at okay. 4415. King Drive, which is now the Mullison Elementary School. Oh, interesting. That was the Give me her name again. The Coral P. No, her name. Oh, Annie Turnbull Malone. Okay. And the school spelled the school. It's the Mullison Mull School now. Oh, school. that's the school, Mullison. Mullison School now, right? right. The that school was, was that, what? The school. That was the site. That was the site of Coral College. Yeah, spell that. Which? P-O-R-O. P-O-R-O. College. And it was a, it was a, uh, a hair college. It, it, was, a, it was a college uh, for uh, the production of hair products and toiletries. Yeah, and you know, Marjorie Turner is also out of that legacy. So it, the phenomenon yeah. of hair care. Well, Marjorie Turner was more associated with Madame Walker. Okay. She went to ran Madame Walker's operation. Okay. But, um, there was a lot of misinformation put out there. Anna Walker was kind of quiet, and uh, Madam Walker was kind of loud. Okay. Okay. But uh, she was she started out as an agent for Annie Malone. Okay. All her first products was Annie Malone's products. Interesting. She even used the same name. She what? actually copied Annie Malone. And the hair care industry mm -hmm. among blacks is a very <clears throat> serious industry. There's a woman yeah. who couple of people I know who have salons with 20 and 30 stations in them in Brownsville. And they're making a quarter of a million dollars a year. Okay. Easy. One of the things I would like to do is since they tore down Corporal College with a combination of four large mansions here on the uh, east side of King Drive okay. at 44, in the 4400 block. Uh, is they tore them all down. Four mansions that ended on operation or visit out of she moved here from St. Louis when she had a bit of divorce with her husband down there. But she built a million dollar building down there. And we had a bunch of- What year we talking? We had a, a 1920, she came here in 29. Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna definitely Google. Okay. Oh yeah. See what comes up. Tons of stuff there. On. Okay. Uh, but um, uh, the point was too that the school there needs to carry her name. I, I've been trying to get some time to talk to the school board about changing that school's name to Andy Turnbull Moore. Interesting. It really now, Mollison was one of the three attorneys who. Yeah. And what they can do, go. they can just move his name to a new school that they okay. got here. And okay. they can ready to build a bunch of them. So. Okay. If they can just move his name to uh, a high school even or something, they can be, and allow that one, the, the elementary Andy. school there, to be Andy Turnbull Moore. That woman did some remarkable things. I would definitely look for her. the black race. So we did, we've done the Metro flyover, the last two points. Uh, the Presidential Library, we're advocating for it to be built on the site of where right. we would have had the Olympic Village, mm -hmm. right in 31st Street. Mm -hmm. And the site is ready. Uh, we think that it's appropriate. It's late front property, et cetera. That would not be the only thing, but it would certainly as, act as an anchor. We advocate for that very publicly. Right. 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 And then lastly, are we going to repopulate or are we going to gentrify? You saw it 10 years ago. I think we've gained uh, quantifiably since then. Uh, you see black stars doing what they do. We say all the time, it doesn't separate us, but, but uh, a pound of drywall in terms of the spirit of what we're trying to do. Absolutely. That is to emancipate our young people, specifically our young males, to restore them to head of household and as providers for their family in growth industries of gainful employment. I'll close there and open the floor for comments. And brother, introduce yourself.